Hello guys, Pillow of 2010 with you today, and today I'll be showing you how to create scripts to uh, launch your batch commands, your command prompt commands. So in our previous tutorials in command prompt, we were just uh, using the different commands to do different things inside of command prompt. Now the scripts, they're going to use command prompt, command prompt, and it's going to do exactly what we tell it to do. But instead of typing it up every single time, you're only going to have to type it up once, and every time you launch the script, it's going to activate the commands that we gave it to do. So let's say I have a problem. I have I have MP3s on my desktop, and I want to move them to the My Music folder. But for some, uh, but I don't. I have too many icons on here, and I don't feel like sorting it. Whatever. I just want to move all of them. Every time I have MP3s on my desktop, every time I click on the script, it it moves the MP3s to My Music folder. And before we continue, uh, I'm gonna show you something that's gonna make your life easier. Uh, percent user profile per percent is equivalent to C, the users, and then the name, whether it be Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7. Uh, the user prof percent user profile is equivalent to this. So if I were to, t if I would want to go to our desktop, I, w I could do this instead of me typing C, users, Dima, desktop, it's easier for me to just type in user profile and then that and then just desktop it's the exact same thing so oops not an and it was supposed to be a percent so this and this are the same except this is going to be easier uh, because this is going to work for other people's computers also because not a lot of people have the name Dima uh, so if you want to create an mp3 an mp3 script that's gonna move all the mp3s from one folder to another not a lot of people are going to have your name, so this is most help. This is uh, better to do. Uh, better to use this instead of your own name, because this is not really C users Dima. It's going to be uh, user name of person. So this is equivalent to this, whether it be Bob, Josh, Jake, Katie, whatever. Uh, this is the universal way of using it. So having said that, let's begin. You want to create a text document or open up notepad. So let's go, I'll open up notepad and we can begin writing our command. So we want to direct ourselves to our desktop. So CD space percent user profile, another percent uh, and backslash desktop. So now that we're in our desktop, let me just copy this command just in case. Uh, we're going to use it a little bit later so I wouldn't have to type it out. Now once we're in our desktop, we're going to use the move command. So uh, on the next line, type in move, space, anything that contains, the asterisk is anything that contains. I suggest you watch my previous tutorials if you don't know what I'm talking about because I go over all of this in detail. So move anything that contains dot mp3, space, to user profile slash music. This is the directory for my music inside of Windows 7. I don't know about Windows Vista or Windows, Windows XP is different. I'm sure Windows XP is different. But Windows Vista, I'm not sure, so you'll have to check that out yourself. But move anything that contains that MP3 to C users Dima Music and press enter. And at the very end, you can put pause just so that when the command uh, finishes, when the command prompt opens and it finishes activating these commands to give us a message word whether or not it was successful. So go to file, save as. You want to save this to your desktop or wherever you want to save this to. Let's call this move music. And instead of save it as it, saving it as a text document, we're going to click all files and then at the end of file name, we're going to put dot .bat. BAT is for batch, stands for batch, and it's going to be a batch command. So now we're going to put this on our desktop and press save and exit out. So here we have our command that should move everything to the music folder. If we double click, it should say, you should get a window and it says what it has done and it's, if it's successful it's going to tell you that it has moved it and just to exit out of the program you press any key. And now all of our mp3s are in our music folder. So if we go to our music folder, all of them were moved here. And as you can see these empty spots are from the mp3 folder, uh, from the mp3 files. So this, is how, so this is how you create a script to, now every single time you're going to have an mp3 file. If we double click right now, it's going to say do, uh, def, 
it cannot be found. We cannot find the MP3 file. But as soon as their MP3 file appears on our desktop, when we click on the script, it's going to say that it's going to move that MP3 file every time it's clicked. So that's very useful in many cases. You don't have to just use the move command. You can use copy. You can use rename. You can use a lot of things. Uh, with this so I might be making some more script tutorials later but for now that's it thank you guys for watching if you have any questions post them in the comments sections below I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible rate comment subscribe and I'll see you guys next time